Hi guys, as I promised in the last video, today we have very, very exciting flights. Uh, the first flight is going to be on the Jetfan 110 uh, on about 7 kilowatts. And then the exciting part is the second flight on the Jetfan 130 with around 10 or maybe 11 kilowatts at takeoff. So super, super exciting. And I'm expecting to be close to 300 kilometers per hour, the second flight. So nice. The Odyssey is heavy because it's 16 kilos with the, with the bigger drive. So I really wonder how the efficiency of the, of the 130 jet fan is going to be. Is it going to push this heavy plane and is it going to go vertical? And if the speed is going to be really the almost 300. So super, super exciting flight for me. A little bit stressful because a new drive and a heavier plane. So I hope it's going to be fine. But uh, ah, no more talking. Let's fly. and this one is very agile, very alive. Okay, the battery is gone, we have to land. Yeah, if anybody of you thought of buying this jet, I definitely recommend because it glides. It glides like a foamy. I landed now with maybe 35 kilometers of speed. It's unbelievable. And the plane weighs 14 kilograms. It's unbelievable. Taking off on Jetfan 130. Let's go. Let's see if, needs, if I need some trimming. No trimming, okay. So let's climb and then we try to get some speed. like unlimited vertical. Nice. 
Now we go for some speed. from each cell and this is Leon so we're pulling a lot let's make one slow slow flyby 37.6 amps I have to avoid the trees because this plane is big of the battery used, so it's nice. This is not bad. straight up and this is 16 kilos plane it's unbelievable this drive is really good some speed. I have a bug on my face. 9,097. The runway is, oh, is gone. I had a big bug flying in front of my face. Wow, it's still here. And I overshoot the I overshoot the runway a little bit, but printed landing gear survived, which is cool. So two flights in. <laughs> the first round was nice, it was not bad. The, the jet was flying fast, it was flying. I was okay, I was, I was happy with that. Uh, but definitely I felt that uh, there is some power lacking and uh, I cannot climb. Uh, I have to get, I have to control the speed. I have to be careful like 
You know, it's like when you're underpowered, you're flying differently. You're flying uh, to preserve height, to preserve speed. It's a little bit different. But it was pleasant. It was very nice. I cannot say that the 110 is bad. It's, it's strong. For sure it's strong. But the 130, the second flight, was just mind-blowing. Unbelievable. Uh, the vertical climb is forever. Speed is way faster. Uh, it's just super nice and you know you, you feel it under the sticks that the plane even though it's heavier it feels lighter because there is so much power to to play with so so I'm very very pleased the sound is great uh, the flight time was amazing because on the 130 we, f uh, we flew six and a half minutes almost so pff, super nice and and the very important thing, the temperature of the motor during the flight was only 52 degrees, which is nothing, which means that I can push it even harder. Uh, at takeoff we had 10.8 kilowatts, 206 amps. Then it dropped to 9 kilowatts and then in the end almost 8 kilowatts, so very nice. But it means that I can, that the low temperature of the, of the motor means that I can put another set of 16S batteries and go up to probably like 12 kilowatts because the motor allows for it, the ESC also. This is very efficient set. With this uh, power it was pulling really nice, so, so this is a good drive for sure. It's a drive to stay. Uh, the 110 will go to a smaller jet, maybe like uh, 1.7 meter, 9 kilo jet, something like this, or 1.8 meter. Maybe I drop, I'll drop it to the Black Horse Viper to just, just see how it flies with, the, with this power. And this 130, it stays in the Odyssey and now I will I'll play with this a little bit more. I'm very happy with the result and even though I landed poorly because I, I went out from the runway because there, there's so much weight in the plane so the inertia is unbelievable but nothing broke, the printed landing gear survived. Yeah, one important thing, cheater holes. When you will be playing, when you'll be installing the, the EDF drive in the jet designed plane like the Odyssey with small intake holes. It's very important to, to put uh, cheater holes. I have three on the top uh, with the kind of a net that I printed on the 3D printer and two on the bottom with very, very like tight net to avoid getting any debris into the rotor. And then the EDF has enough air to suck and to push. So this is important, okay. I think it's enough. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed for sure. And maybe see you next time.